to make sure when you're doing poodle legs, you want to make sure you have parallel lines. I can't focus on that enough. You don't want them to look like baseball bats where they're narrow at the top and they get wider and you don't want them really tight at the bottom and then get narrow. You want everything to be nice and symmetrical. So we're going to move to the top knot and this is the most important part. Heads are so important when we're grooming any breed and a lot of people will teach the method. This is what I was taught in school and I found just like the beveling it didn't work for me because I was taught to comb everything down and then cut straight across in front of the dog's eyes. And if I were to take my shears and cut all of this hair off, as I lift this dog's top knot back up, you can see I've cut the middle of the top knot instead of just the front. And what happens if you cut it that way, it's going to take all this hair off and it almost looks like they ran into a wall. The head gets really flat, so you don't have that nice beveled look <laughs> that we're trying to get. So that's how I describe it when I see them running around town. It looks like they ran into the wall because their heads, you know what I'm saying. So anyway, I comb everything back instead of combing everything forward. And I just take the hair right behind the bone on the back of the eye. I'll just comb or tease all of that forward because we want to give him a nice expression and open up his eyes. So when I do that, I'll take my curved shears and I have them angled out about a 45 degree angle. And I'm just going to cut this right around, am I doing one side or two? Do the whole head. Do the whole head. Just going to make sure I get right around the eyes nice and tight because you don't want to send this dog home and not be able to see his expression. And if you look, just by trimming out just the little bit that I just trimmed, he all of a sudden, his expression all of a sudden opens up. You can see his eyes. So, and I didn't cut anything off the front of my top knot because we want this to be nice and beveled on the front. So I'll lift my ear back. I'm going to comb everything down on the side of the head. I'm just going to follow my line right around the eye, and I'm going to follow Sue's clipper line right back to the corner of the ear. So and I've still got my shears. Even though I'm using curved shears, I don't want them straight up. If you have them straight up, the top knot's going to look more like a mohawk, so you have them angled out. That way, it's going to look more balanced once I get this whole dog's head finished. So once you cut this in on the side of the head, back to the ear, once you lay the ear down, you'll see there's a definition from the line I cut to the hair that's over the side of the top knot, or that's over the ear. So I'm going to take my whole top knot. He's got a really thick coat. Yeah, he's got a really thick top knot. So I'm going to take everything, I'm going to comb it to the side, and I'm just going to follow this line straight back over the top of the ear. I don't want to cut into my ear hair, so I'm just going to take it right over the top of the ear. I'm just going to follow it straight back into the back of my neck, or into the side of my neck, not the back of the neck. So what we did, we made a nice clean line here. And as we did that, we actually went ahead and cut the center of the dog's top knot because I combed everything over. So we killed two birds with one stone, as we say. <laughs> Just don't kill my poodle. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to have a little point on the front of the head that we're going to clean up in a minute. <laughs> so as you can see, the other side of the dog's not finished, but... He had me wearing an apron with ruffles if he could. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Say I am. I'm going to flip the ear back and I'm going to cut this line in nice and tight. And I'm going to set the ear back down. And you can see the definition. Excuse me. You can see the definition. So I'm going to comb everything over again. And grooming, once you get, you know, I mean, like, for instance, I start at one spot and I work my way around the dog and it's almost just like putting the pieces of a puzzle together once you figure out how to do these different breeds. So that's basically what I do with the top knot. I've got six or seven steps that I use and I do that on every poodle top knot. So I'm just cutting right in over the ear. And 
And yeah. you'll watch the the video, and you'll go home, and you'll you know do what Jay did or what I do on on the video. But what ends up happening is the more seminars you go to, the more people that you talk to, and the different ideas that you get, you finally develop a style that's really your own, and that's what's really important. You don't have to go home and do a dog exactly.